This one wants us to solve for a So let's go ahead and, uh, well, solve for a So let's give ourselves a little bit more space here. Uh, what's the first thing we would do on this one? Excellent. Add 12 to both sides. That's going to be a zero now. It cancels out. 30 plus 12 is 42. Just have a negative 6 huan. Then we'll divide both sides by the coefficient of huan, which is negative 6. That tells us that y is a negative 7. Brad, you brought that up. So notice it says before you answer, the safe has one, no, or infinite solutions. Uh, just because it tells you to do it at the beginning doesn't mean you have to. So I did it at the end. Oh, oh, that's okay. So I would say now that I know for sure that it has one solution. I got one solution. All right, so there were two parts to this. One solution, y equals negative 7. Now here's the thing, you guys. We don't have time to check this, but I highly recommend that you check this. So once again, you would go back to the original expression, y equals negative 7. And simply replace y with negative 7 and see if you have a true statement here. That's all you're looking for is a true statement. I guess I'm this deep into it, so fine. 42 minus 12 needs to equal 30. 42 minus 12 does equal 30. 30 does equal 30. Bam, checked. So as it turns out, x does equal negative 7. And there is only one solution.